click on Google Chrome, open that up, Google Chrome, then you're going to go to Images, type in whatever character you want. Then click on Images. Then you're going to click on Search Tools right here. Don't get one of these in color. Don't get one like that. That would be way too difficult. Then you're going to look for Type, T-Y-P-E, right here. Click on Type. Then you're going to go to Line Drawing, Line Drawing, Line Drawing. Try to find a character that's either looking left or forward. So scroll down, see what you can find. I'm, I've looked through this, <coughs> and this is the one I like the best. It's looking the wrong way, but I'm going to try to make that work by flipping it. So then I'm going to double click on that, on my image, click on my image, then I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to highlight it by left clicking with my cursor here. Left click, drag it across there till it turns blue. Then I'm going to open a Microsoft Office Word document. So I'm going to drag this from the top, just drag it to the side a little bit. Hey, what did I just tell you? Drag to the side a little bit. That's pretty much what I just told you. That's what I did to you. There you go. Stop acting on your own accord. All right, then I'm going to open up a Word document. And if you need to find it, go into All Programs. Then find Microsoft Word. Okay, so Microsoft Office. And then Word. There we go. Okay, so you can click on Word. Then from this image here, you're going to Control C. You have it highlighted. Now push Control C. Click on your Word document and, and type in Control V. So Control C copies. Then you click on your Word document and press Control V. Then that will paste it in. Then you need to click on View Ruler, which is right here. View Ruler. You should see the ruler here at the top, the ruler crossed vertically here, horizontally here. And your image. The images that you're using, this right here is about just the head itself. This is about three to three and a half inches. So you could make it a little bit bigger. It would look a little bit more like a bobblehead, but that's okay. And if you're trying to do the head and the neck from here to here, then that's more like four and a half to five inches. And I think my dragon's probably going to come up right about there. So give yourself a couple of different sizes. So copy paste a couple of times. And it's approximately three and a half inches wide. Now if you have something that's like really wide at the top and narrow at the bottom and that's the way it's supposed to be, then you know, these are not hard and fast. Okay. So I'm going to click on that to resize it. And my numbers here I want it to be about five inches. So now I'm looking over here. Let's scroll down a little bit here. I'm looking at my ruler. And if I want to drag it in proportion, I have to drag it by a corner. And then I can drag it into proportion like that. Then I'm going to, to email that. I need you to email to me. Let's do this first before you email it to me. Let's make sure I know who sent that to me. That'd probably be helpful. Yeah, Miss Lovinger, totally be helpful. You rock. All right. So type in your name at the top. And then send that to me. Then I also want you to try to print it from here as well. And Miss Thino has directions for that. <laughs> 